Learning a game engine is hard. It is even harder if you have less than two months for it. And it is especially hard if the engine is not particularly your favorite. And to top it all off, you need to learn the engine so that you can teach others how to use it. So yeah, I'm probably screwed. Hi everyone, it's Benza here and let's talk about my progress with Godot so far and the first game I made with it for the June installment of the 2024 Hungarian One Game a Month Game Jam series or Hey 2024 for short. In my previous video I explained in detail why I need to learn a new engine in such a short amount of time and why that engine is Godot. To sum it up quickly here, the time frame was given and the specific requirements I needed from the engine were best fulfilled by Godot. I have used a couple of game engines over the years so I already know what works for me when it comes to learning a new one. I am not saying this is the only way to learn a new engine or anything new really, I just want to explain what works for me and why. When I start something completely new I like to ask questions, lots of it. I also need step by step tutorials, at least initially. Therefore when I was serious about learning an engine I always looked for a school with a teacher who teaches in real time. I had the privilege to attend both offline and online game dev school and while I prefer the offline version, online is also good. The benefit of a real-time school is that you can ask questions and the teacher can alter the contents of the lessons based on the real-time needs of the students. There is also live interaction between the teacher and the students and these interactions provide new opportunities to learn as well as valuable feedback. The downside is that real-time schools usually cost significantly more than an online video course, they usually take place on weekends, they take months to complete and the individual lessons might be slower than what you need because the teacher needs to focus on everybody, which includes the slower learners or the guy who constantly asks stupid questions. Yes, that is usually me. For me, the benefits of the real-time school outweighs the negatives and I had good experiences from learning both Unity and Unreal this way. However, with Godot it was different. Because of the short time frame I have for learning, a real-time school would be too slow. Also, after these two months are over, I plan to return to Unreal, so spending a lot of money on Godot does not make sense. This is where pre-recorded online courses come in. These can either be free courses on YouTube or paid courses on sites like Udemy or GameDev.tv. What I like about pre-recorded online courses is that they provide a well-organized curriculum which will generally include what you need. Of course, asking questions is a bit more difficult, receiving feedback almost impossible, but you can learn at your own pace whenever you want. Not to mention that even if you choose a paid course, you will still end up spending much less than for a real-time course. In terms of knowledge, YouTube provides way more than paid courses ever could, however I have found that paid courses have benefits for beginners that YouTube courses might not have. I found that paid courses are generally put together better in terms of building on past lectures, not to mention that YouTube tutorials are very inconsistent when it comes to quality and a logical curriculum. These paid courses usually focus on more smaller projects, while many YouTube tutorials focus on one large project and, when learning an engine, the first approach is better because it provides more opportunities to try out different tools the engine has to offer. That being said, for the general overview, YouTube is very good. The very first Godot tutorial I completed was Bracky's video. It introduced me to the most basic tools of the engine, so when I started my paid courses I was not completely blind and had a rough idea of what to expect. My favorite site for game developer courses is gamedev.tv. I found that the courses there are priced reasonably for what they teach and they are also good quality. Do not be pressured into buying something immediately, the discounts are sort of permanent. Also, their new website is a bit laggy but they said it is in beta so hopefully it will get better. I bought both a 2D and a 3D beginner Godot course. I started with the 3D course. Because of this I made my very first Godot game also in 3D. I mostly use the knowledge I have learned during the course, often copy pasting whole scripts However, there were problems I needed to solve on my own. This is where forums, documentations and YouTube videos come in. Because no matter how many paid courses you complete, you will encounter problems that were not taught during the course. But you can be sure that someone has encountered them before, or at least a problem very similar to yours, and posted the solution online in some form. But content like this is only useful if you know what you are looking for, and at that time you are probably not a complete beginner. So, this is how I am learning Godot. Now onto my very first Godot game. In the Hey 2024 Game Jam series there are three main teams in each month out of which I must choose at least one and there is also an extra team which can be included for extra challenge. For June the three main teams were Navigate, Blind, Vacation and the extra team was Multiply by 10. The vacation team did not interest me, not because I'm not interested in going on vacation but because I could not imagine any interesting gameplay in connection with it. I guess it's my lack of creativity again. 
I have found the Navigate theme much more interesting. I always wanted to make a game in which the focus is on navigation, which the player must perform by reading a map, using a compass or a sextant, orientated by the stars or by reference points and locations. However, at the end I decided not to go with this theme, because most of my games are walking simulators anyway, and if I run out of time, which is for this game jam not exactly uncommon, I would end up making another walking game without any proper game mechanics. So great idea, maybe another time with another engine. Blind. Games are a visual medium first and foremost, but there are examples where the player does not see anything, only hears. I once played a game like that, and I do not remember the title, but I think I have downloaded it from itch.io. What discouraged me were the facts that making a game like this might hold challenges I do not yet anticipate, and also the games are presented during a stream and sound is something the organizers sometimes struggle with. So at the end I switched the roles. It is not the player who is blind, but the NPCs, and the player needs to help them navigate and avoid dangers. Because of time limits, this concept devolved into, well, this. The cars that follow the road were copied over from the online course almost one to one, just like the function to click on the NPCs. When I was making the game, I have not yet reached the lesson about the nav mesh, but setting it up was not difficult. However, when the nav mesh agents needed to collide with the collider that represented the road, at the end I added an area 3D and handled collisions that way. However, I am almost sure it can be done easier, so if you have an idea, let me know in the comments. People were quite understanding when I told them why I made the game in Godot and wished me Luck. There was also cheerful laughter when the NPCs began to spawn and started their chaotic journey towards all directions of the Windrows. For a game like this, this feedback was more than enough for me, making other people happy is always a reward in itself. But I also received an actual reward. In the high 2024 game jam, after 3 completed games you receive a little trophy. I received my first one for the games I created in January, February and March, and now this one for April, May and June. However, I forgot to show you the first one separately, so here are both of them. As you can see they can be connected to each other. Pretty cool. And we are already halfway through with the jam. For this month I will definitely be making another Godot game and after that we will see, but I will probably go back to Unreal. Do not forget to check out my video about why I started to learn Godot in such a hurry if you have not done so already. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next one. Bye!